As Hurricane Melissa bared down on Jamaica in October, a weather sensor dropped out of a Hurricane Hunter airplane measured a wind gust of 252 miles per hour. The flight crew had never seen a number quite that high. This is a very, very uh, incredible measurement, a really strong storm. To verify the accuracy of that wind speed, meteorologists turned to the developer of that sensor known as a drop sonde. It was designed at the National Center for Atmospheric Research, or NCAR, in Boulder. Of course, when you have a, a very unusual measurement like that, you want to make sure that this is a truly a good measurement. And don't forget, I mean, they put their lives on the line, flying through those storms. Holger Fumel and his team verified that Melissa's blast was indeed a record-breaking hurricane wind. Warnings went up for Jamaica. They should take that seriously, whether that's a record or not. Uh, it's just absolutely incredible. Uh, power in the atmosphere there. There are some other Colorado connections to record winds. In October of 2024, during Hurricane Milton, a drone built by the Colorado company Black Swift Technologies measured a gust of 240 miles per hour. It's in the Guinness Book of World Records for the highest wind speed recorded by an uncrewed aircraft. The strongest tornado wind speed of 321 miles per hour in Bridge Creek, Oklahoma, 1999, that was measured by a Doppler on wheels crewed by Colorado researchers. And the strongest wind speed ever measured in Colorado? 148 miles per hour measured on Monarch Pass during a winter storm in February of 2016. I'm meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen for the Nine News Weather Impact Team.